excited to interview a band than this one because I totally grew up with their posters on my wall and I rocked out to all their concerts, just like all the many of you across the world. Please welcome Simon LeBon and John Taylor of Duran Duran! Yeah. What happened? Oh my god! Hi! Hey. Yeah. Oh, how are you? Mm -hmm. Get over here. I want to scream it. It's been so long. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay, we can't do this on morning TV, so please have a seat. Thank you for being here. Okay, and congratulations, because you guys just wrapped up on your little North American tour. Yeah, that's right. How was it? It was fun. <clears throat> it was uh, it was 24 shows in 35 days. That's It a, was quite a lot. intense, but we hit we, we hit a, a rhythm, and each show seemed to get better than one before it. So you used the rhythm system on this tour. <laughs> <We> yes, <did>. indeed. <laughs> Yes, it's much, much more effective than the withdrawal system. Oh, oh, yes. No, that one's not fun at all. No, they so hate you... it when you stand on stage and walk off before you've done anything. No, definitely premature. <laughs> That's yeah, we, not good. We, we don't do that one either. <laughs> now, you got sick a little bit. You had throat issues. I, ha I lost my voice for two months in, in, um, this year, in the spring. It's, as a fan, not cool, man, because cancelling yeah. shows is not okay. Yeah. So you better now? I am, yes. And we started, the, we started this tour, um, I felt I was about 95%, but as it progressed, I feel I'm back to bulletproof. Good. Well, you sound good. You have a little... <clears throat> I have, actually, I'm, I'm a bit sung out today. Oh, oh, so that means you won't be singing to me today, then? Mm. You won't oh, be? We'll both Sorry. whisper. It could be better if is he it, just does it in my ear. Is it, is it the, wor is the words that count or the tune? Uh, it's really just that you're right there while you're doing right. it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, I uh, went to see you guys play a couple years back, and I got to experience for the first time as an adult what it's like to see a Duran Duran show. Mm. And I had absolutely no idea, you guys, the women at these shows mm. are insane. Mm. <laughs> now, you've probably noticed this once or twice. Mm. What I found is that I was told that every woman has to stand in front of the guy that they like, right? Really? Yes. So mm. there's sections that it's are split weird, off. It's weird because I only get guys show. in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> it does happen. <laughs> it's funny. This, this year we've noticed that. Uh, the guys are coming back. You know, guys are really showing up for the band this year. Well, what I know, and I have a theory, and that is that they've come. They, that the guys have realised that they can come with their girls, and they're not going to lose the girls to the band anymore. Because, oh, you mean yeah. straight guys? Because we're kind of like taken. You know, yeah. we're kind of like we've come out where we're like we're all sort of relatively safe to be around now. Right. You can actually bring your girlfriend to a Duran show. She's yes. going to go home with you. Yeah. She will go home with that, yes, the, yeah. her actual boyfriend. Well, because what my, I thought you were talking about the gay men, because that's a whole other genre of fan that you guys yeah. have, because when I told all of my friends that I was going to have and you guys on, it was all guys going, yeah! like screaming like little girls. Sorry to call you out, Quentin, but it happened. <laughs> yes. Oh, there he is, right there. Naughty boy. Quentin's just been outed. Yeah, he, he oh, well, he was, he's been out for a Look little while now. But it's yeah. true, you guys have, I mean, you guys definitely cross over, and now you yeah. have the straight men, too, must so we, congratulations. Must yeah. forget our lesbian following, either. No, oh. God, thank God you mentioned that. Oh, I was really? just feeling for them. Yeah, I, I think you... Yeah. Do they yeah. act any differently than the, no. the straight girls? same. Same. They scream just as loudly yeah, and, and yeah. sweat and pants. Yeah, that that each other. a deeper voice. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> With better boots. Way more comfortable shoes. Well, I have to tell you that <laughs> what ended up happening uh, at the show that I went to is that I had to try and pee. And, of course, I was, you know, a little bit closer to the stage. And trying to go to the bathroom, trying to walk through all these sections of women that are yeah. fighting for their territory right. is absolutely yeah. the most horrifying experience right. I've ever yeah. had. That's why we encourage you just to do it on the spot. That's why we use <laughs> yeah. that's why we Talk, yeah. There's something to that. Yeah, yeah. Don't so, get caught up in all that. You know. I'm not sure I like the way this interview's going. <laughs> <laughs> it's a morning show. Yeah. When you go to a Duran Duran concert, ladies, wear your depends. It's really just, <laughs> it's better if you do for everyone. Is that like lady nappies? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you gonna, is there's gonna be a Duran Duran lady nappy now for sales? Yes, there? probably will <laughs> Duran be, yes. Duran Duran Our merchandising yeah. guy, Paul Maxwell, will be on it straight away. <laughs> Whose yes. face is gonna be on it? Wings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys, when you when you tour, how do you decide which songs you're going to play? Because there are a billion, and everybody has their favorites. And so, it's which a running ones gag. Yeah, it's it a is. continual <laughs> conversation. It's really the only conversation that we have yeah. anymore. Is what we're going to play tonight, in what order, and what are we going to move around? And it's like a fun board game without a board. 
Yeah. And so do you normally try and start with like an oldie but a goodie and then go no. into the new stuff? You always start no. with the new stuff. Well, this time we've, been, we've had a completely different opening to the show. Um, we've got a song that we use as a kind of prelude. It's called Before the Rain. It's one of the new songs off the album. And it, it is like a prelude to the show. And then we hit them with something really hard and well known and old. And, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Sorry, that was my. That euphemism was, that was joke that I'm just assuming okay. you're giving. Well, this and is the <laughs> serious point of the interview. Yes. Okay, get in. <coughs> because all I need is right now. Now, you guys have um, sort of set the bar extremely high for bands, and now there's a billion mm. bands out there that mm. look up to you guys, and, and you guys went into studio. The into fools. The stu Why? What were they thinking? Exactly. Now, you guys went into the studio with what were you hoping to get out of it? Are you trying to sort of recapture what you had or to get something completely new and, and more mm. modern? I think we're always trying to make a great record, yeah, you know, yeah. that is going to inspire people and uh, I mean you're always, you've got to be a believer, you know, if you're in music this long then you're a believer in music and the, the power of music and so, you know, we go into the studio and we, our aim is to write the best music we can possibly write. Yeah, I think part of it as well is, is you have to connect, it has to be music that connects, so that includes being modern, that includes being um, new in a way that you're not just repeating old stuff because people have heard that before and they don't hear it again but you've also got to be true to yourself as well, a band. And everybody said that when this album came out that it was like true to what Duran yeah. Duran started yeah. out mm -hmm. sounding yeah. like. Well I think we've got to uh, we've got to thank Mark Ronson for that mm -hmm. because Mark came on board as a producer and he had a very he, he'd been a fan of the band in the early 80s and he had a very definite idea about what he wanted his Duran Duran album to sound like. And we'd done the previous album with Timberland mm -hmm. and Danger, which for us was very, we let go a lot of the tie lines to the old, to the Duran sound. It, was a, it had a, a big hip hop flavor to it. There was not a lot of uh, real instruments on it. Uh, the fans didn't really connect with it. So we were ready for this idea of Mark's to sort of make an album that was more suggestive of the early 80s. We were yeah. kind of open to that idea this time. And he came along and he said, he said, you guys have been great at reinventing yourselves, but this time I just want you to be yourselves. Okay, oh my God, hold that thought, because we have to take a break, but we'll be back with more Simon and John next. Please don't move, because I know I'm not. <laughs> Simon Le Bon and John Taylor of Duran oh, Duran. I like the way you said that. Yeah, I took you it from the, you. Duran Duran. Duran Duran. It's almost like with a J H or something. It's like French the way you say it. Duran Duran. <laughs> yeah. Ah, She's been practicing. I have been mm. for like my whole life. You like that. So thank you for that. <laughs> all right, let's talk about your new video. Yeah. Mm. Don't panic. Yes. Tell me all about it. We got um, <clears throat> five of the original supermodels. Um, you didn't call me. To... <laughs> You're right. Mm. <laughs> we got five of the original supermodels to play us. So in the interview, um, Cindy Crawford is on camera and being interviewed, she says, hello, my name's John Taylor from Duran Duran. You've got Naomi Campbell saying, hello, I'm Simon Le Bon from Duran Duran. You've got Ava Herzegova saying, hello, I'm Nick Rhodes from Duran Duran. And you've got um, Helena Christensen saying, hello, I'm um, Roger Taylor from Duran Duran. And then you've got Yasmin Le Bon saying, I'm not a member of Duran Duran. But she should be. Well, she sort of is in a funny sort of way. <laughs> is she kind of like a it's a kind of it's a, it's a special in-joke. Uh, oh. But well, anyway. Well, yeah, I want to know about the in-joke. You're not going to tell us, But the thing you? is, they look much better than us. How do you think the counterparts did? Did they match up to you? 
They, they were amazing. I mean, they, they, Naomi was, you know, like Naomi has this incredible, this like diva reputation. She was so on it. She was amazing. I mean, she kept everybody waiting, but when she came onto the set, and she's, <laughs> no, I'm serious. I mean, she was amazing. And she, didn't she? Yeah. She's the singer. Absolutely she amazing. nailed the song. Yeah. And it's really to see the five of them, like, you know, performing as the band, it's, it's, it's really pretty spectacular. And, and there's a lot of stuff that happens before that. It's, yeah. like, it's almost nine minutes <clears throat> long, the video. Yeah, no, it's, it's, like, it's about a band being on tour in a hotel, having fun, having parties, having girls. In what do you room. know about that? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> I, I, I admit to nothing. And, and the, as supermodels, they obviously know a lot about the rock star lifestyle as yes, well, so yeah. that they weren't, you didn't have to train them really in the ways. That's true. Yes, they were naturals. And they were gluing things to the ceiling and throwing things out the window? Mostly with hairspray. <laughs> of course, of course. Everybody has their own way. Yeah. Now, I can see the resemblance with you and Cindy Crawford, strangely enough. I can see how that could happen. But Naomi Campbell has a little better of a tan than you do. True, yes. But that's, 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 it, that's not the point. <laughs> she's, she's, it's, it's, she's, she's got a very big personality. And she's, you know, she's strong and good-looking and all of those things that I'm... Would like to be. Oh, come on! I think you're doing she, all right. Um, she's fantastic. She's, she does. She does a really great job. She, they're not. They're not doing impersonations of us. They are being themselves. It, it's like a, it's like a parallel universe yeah. version of interpretive. Duranger. Yeah. I yes. think it's great that yeah. you guys all got together because the icons from the 80s and it's genius. Mm -hmm. Now, um, everybody remembers all of the music videos that you guys have made over the years. Everybody has their favorite. Do you guys have a favorite? Mmm. Well, it's probably not one I have. I've kind of got a favourite. Sort of going back beyond this bunch. And we did say we're not going to talk about the past. <laughs> Is that what we, we said? We said <laughs> not going to talk about the past. Uh-oh. But just, in case, in, just if we were going to talk about the past, um, I, I think uh, I love the video we made for White Lines. Oh, actually. yeah. It's, it's, got, it's, mm. it's a Nick Egan video, yep. is it? Yes, Nick Egan video. Thank God I got that right. <laughs> um, it's got a lot of energy to it, and it, 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 it's, it, the, the editing is, is perfect for the song, and, it, and it's got a crazy kind of feel to it, which suits the subject matter. Grandmaster Flash, the Furious Five, are in it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Genius. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a favourite in particular? Uh, well, I was thinking, like, I, w I was thinking about the Sri Lankan yeah. trilogy, mm. and I was thinking about Say it right, it's Prayer. trilogy. <laughs> I was thinking Save a Prayer has a mood that is just... Yeah. So good. And that does. song is so good and hypnotic. Mm. Still to this day, you listen to that song and it's like, it just puts you in a whole different... Do you? Yes, you yes, I do. So. I totally <laughs> just admitted that. <laughs> I loved Wild Boys. That mm. was my favorite. Right. Yeah, that was good fun. It was fantastic. It was amazing to see it. Amazing to be involved in a production that was that spectacular. All right, so we have some buzzer questions that we want to ask you guys. These are like quick questions, all right? Um, you ready? Bzzz. What? Too late. <laughs> what did you have for dinner last night? All the girls want to know. Oh. Mexican food at Barrio Chino, my favorite uh, Mexican restaurant in the Lower East Side. Nice. Hotel room service. Uh, <laughs> hamburger. Really? Salad. You no bun. Hold the bun. Oh, okay. Hold the bun, which That's is one of my favorite American phrases. Hold the buns. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your favorite Duran Duran song to perform? Ooh. Don't do favourites. No. That's hard, right? It's the, I mean, it is the cliche, but they are like your kids. Yeah, they and are. And you can't have a favourite kid, it's just No, wrong. you're not supposed to. They, they'll hate you for it in the end. Yeah. They'll come back. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is the weirdest pre-show ritual you've had over the years? Oh, I've had some pretty weird ones. Um, my my warm-ups are quite, uh, I mean, like, we should film my warm-ups, shouldn't we? Mm. And show people how incredibly boring they are. Are they too sexy for breakfast? Oh, unbelievable, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just me in the leopard skin thong. <laughs> Do you have anything weird you want to talk about? Yeah, well, having to look the other way when he's, <laughs> when he's doing his vocal warm-ups in his leopard skin thong. That's a lot to take yeah. in, I understand. Yeah. Now, do you have a, a favorite venue to perform in? Ooh. Well, we played the gardens last week, yeah. and that has, to be, that has to be up there. The Fillmore in San Francisco. Mm. Uh, we, we know, we played some, some great old-fashioned theaters in America. Chicago theater. Yeah, the Chicago yeah. theater, the, um, the, which, the, the, the Wang theater in Boston. Boston. Yeah, you know, things that have been a old, beautifully decorated theatres from from a bygone age. Oh. My living room could your also be room. one of your favourites. Yes. 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 Right. So we just add that to the list, please. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Last question. What is your OMFG moment? Oh my. Oh my. God. <laughs> God. <laughs>
Oh my God. Um, oh, there's a few. Mm. Quickly well, now, this is live TV. Curtains, I think when the curtains parted on the band in, in 1981, the summer of 1981 in Brighton, and it was the first time we'd played since we'd had all this teen press, and we were greeted by this like wave of, of insanity. And that was one. That was definitely. A... Well, I get one every time I walk on stage. It's like, is this what I do for a living? Oh my God! <laughs> I think that every time I see you guys too. to bring out here. Give me, can I have the, okay, so this is my poster that originally was hanging oh. on my door and I would say good night to it every night and good morning every day. Oh, <laughs> what have you wow. <laughs> And do Isn't you know, Isn't it amazing? He still the has the same he hair. Still has the same hair. What have Here, you, been you get what, to sign What have you been this? doing to it? I mean, it's well, it, it, it has taken its toll over the years. It, it had to travel like 9,000 miles to get here. Look it's been a while. You never mind any of that. So much for being here. Um, uh, all you need Straight is now is show. available everywhere. Make sure you go pick it up. <laughs> That's coming up to uh, Tyrese and Top Chef Gail Simmons with the top five cheeses that you need to know about. This is important. <laughs> 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 cheeses.